Brand Taylor Promotions has a new look, feel, and bunch of new audience targeting types. So we're going to dig into that and what it all shows. My name is Noah. I'm with my Amazon guy. And let's dig into how exactly you should be utilizing all of these new audience types and how you should be utilizing the new Brand Taylor Promotions menu. So to start us off, we have goals now. So we have four different types of goals. We have new customer acquisition, so acquire and convert customers. We have customer retention, which is essentially customers you already work with. We have re-engagement, and then we have cross-sell. Now, for new customer acquisition, this is going to show us our normal audience types if we're doing all of our products. Our typical brand cart abandoners, everyone knows this one, as well as potential new customers. Now, the difference being is if we do add specific products, you can see here we have three different types of new audiences. So we have cart remarketing, so this is customers who had their products in the last 30 days but did not purchase. Views remarketing, which is customers specifically looking at your product. I like this one a lot. This is going to be really, really useful for actually targeting those who are clicking on your product but maybe not converting. And again, as we know, price is typically the number one converting factor on Amazon. So seeing something like this come out is great. Brand cart abandoners beforehand was essentially how people could do the views or marketing. But at this point, I think this is going to be a much more useful one, especially over the last 30 days. And then we have in market customers. It's again, people who viewed, but this is the last seven days. So both of these are similar to what they were doing with the brand tailored coupons, where you could be doing, you know, the seven day and the 30 day on brand tailored coupons, rather than just uh, the 90 day that we typically have with the brand car banders. Now, next we have customer retention. So customer retention, again, for all products is what we typically have had. It's all of our top tier brand followers, repeat, so on and so forth, high spend customers. This makes a lot of sense that these are the audience types you typically associate with retention efforts. It's people who are going to be purchasing your product, people who know about your brand, those that are in the space around your brand. Again, and so this is very, very known as to these being here. However, if we go to ad specifics, we have some new ones. We have one-time customers. So it's customers who purchased uh, selected products exactly once in the last 12 months, but did not purchase in the last 30 days. That means there is a person who has bought from you one single time. We are going to try and retain that type of person because this is a really, really good segment, in my opinion, for getting some people re-engaged with the brand. It's kind of interesting this is under retention and not re-engagement, but that's just me. And then we also have our repeat customers, which is, you know, fairly common. Next, we have re-engagement. So for all products under re-engagement, we have declining, promising, at risk, and declining top tier. These are ones that we already had beforehand. We know about those, and you cannot select specific products. So for re-engagement purposes only, we have only these three, and we have to stick with those three. And then finally, we have cross-sell. So cross-sell is interesting because this is a new one entirely. This is complementary products remarketing. Essentially, people who have bought a product that complements your product in the last 30 days but did not select any of the products that you're trying to use this promotion on. So this one, I think, is going to be really, really valuable for people who have uh, expansive catalogs that really bounce off each other. So if you have, let's say... Uh, you know, a deck of cards, but you also have uh, a bunch of different card sleeves, right? You can definitely try and have someone who purchased the deck of cards get remarketed the brand tailor promotion for the card sleeves, you know, 30 days or two weeks later, and hopefully get another sale off of that. It's going to really hopefully increase the overall value proposition of a customer and really have that lifetime value of the customer increase. So overall, I think this is really, really cool. Again, if we just go through the entire process here and we just add all products, bring carts, same exact process that we had in the past when it comes to all of the terms, the budget, everything. So nothing changed there. But I do think that this is really, really interesting that we're getting these new type of promotions. And Amazon is really opening up to the idea of how can an audience be segmented for a specific brand? How can we really start to target them from that promotional level? So I love these. I'm going to be digging into them a ton. I'm going to be using them across tons of different brands. I really suggest you do as well. And hopefully this explained a little bit more what each of these different new types is.